everyone and welcome back to the Science Corner. For today, you're going to need your science notebook and the vials of the soil that we did last time. Let's grab Okay, so first let's check out our vials. My first vial is the vial that I collected from around the playground. I'm going to take a look at it. I can see that there is sand in the bottom. There looks like there's a layer of silt above that and then a whole bunch of plants above that. There's grass, there's wood, um, and then water. The water looks fairly clean. It's, it's a little bit dirty, but I can actually see through it a little bit and then there's some stuff floating on top. Let's check out the vial from around the school. There's lots of sand. I can't see the pebbles in it. Um, there's silt above the sand and then there's water. Not a whole lot floating on top of the water. And then this one was our homemade soil, which we've looked at before. I can see the pebbles, the sand, the soil, um, or the silt, the humus. The water is really dark. All right, now take your science notebook and open it to local soil with water. How do soils differ? So how are all three of our soils different? Each have different things in them. Some of them have more rocks, some of them have more plants. So they differ in the amount of each thing in them. Okay, now I need to draw one of my vials. I'm going to draw the vial that has all the plants in there because I think that'll be more interesting. So the bottom is sand. Sand. Above that I have silt. Above that I have grass and humus. We found this soil near the playground. Now let's answer our hypothesis. When we separate soil, we will see the different things in the soil. I know this because we could see what was in the soil when we separated it last time. Is that what happened? Yeah, when we separated it using the screens, we could see that some of them had more rocks, some of them had less rocks, some of them had gra more grass and humus in them. When we put them in the water and we shook them up, we can see that the layers are all very different too. So yes. We can see that the amount is different in each layer. So depending on how much erosion has occurred and what the soil is used for will depend on how much of each thing you have in each collection of soil. So where you get the soil from will depend on how the soil is used. The soil near the building cannot grow plants so it can be used to support things so it needs more rocks in it. The soil out by the playground is to grow the grass so having less rocks and more humus helps the grass grow. So the soil that's for different things will have different amounts in it. All right, now let's clean up. So to clean out our vials, we're going to take them outside, dump them out, and rinse them out with water. Once they're rinsed out, you need to put them back in your kit to dry, so that way you can return them to school. After this experiment, we just have some reading to do in our book, and then you need to return your kits to school. That's all for the Science Corner to get today. Thank you for joining me and keep learning. I'll see you next time. Bye.